morning, my name is Breck Bland and I'm here at Verina Elementary School with my fifth grade class. Today we're going to learn about metric measurements and the different conversions. All right, boys and girls, let's start with our two truths and one li um, lie. I want you to think about it quietly to yourself. So I'm going to read them out loud. One is neither prime or composite. Two is a prime number. Ninety-three is a prime number. So remember, there are two things that are true up here, and there's one thing that is a lie. So I'm going to give you about 30-ish seconds to think about it, and then we're going to share with our neighbors. Okay, go ahead and turn and talk with your neighbors about what you think is the two truths and the one lie. What's the lie? Why? <coughs> all right, 93 is what? It's composite? Okay, why? Do y'all know why 93 is composite? It has more than how many factors? Two. More than exactly two factors. So I want you to try to think about what are those other two factors of 93. Okay. I do you think. What about two? Two is not prime. What are the factors of two? Okay, are those two different things? So if I have one times two and two times one, what do they both equal? Okay, Dakari, can you help me with Ryan over here? So Ryan is saying that two is a, well, the two, the second one is a lie. So he's saying that two has more than two factors. It has one times two and two times one. So I want, do you agree or disagree with Ryan? Make sure you move your hand so he can hear you and tell him, remember? All right, what do you guys think? Why? It has more than two factors. Do you know those two factors? One times 93, and what else? Three, so you know it's three times something, so you know it's divisible by three. So th can we do mentally three times 60? We can't do it three groups of 60. <laughs> Kevin, do you know what three times, what would be the other factor? So they, they know that three is a factor. Yeah, go grab a calculator. Wait, we should let her grab it. We can chicken help us out over here. Do you know three times what? 31. 31. Okay, so Kevin, you agree? Check it, Maya. 3 times 31. All right, back to me in 3, 2, and 1. Who would like to share with me what you talked about with your group? Um, Ayana. Can you say that a little bit louder? I can hear you. 93 is a lie. Okay, did you guys hear her over here? Yes. What did she say? 93 is a lie. Okay, why is 93 the lie? Q. Because we have more than, more than one factor. More than how many factors? Two. More than how many? Two. two factors. So Q is saying that 93 has more than two factors. Who can tell me what are those factors of 93? Dakari. One times 93 and three times 31. Did we check that with the calculator? Yeah. Maya, did you check it? And did three times 31 give us? 93? Yeah. Okay, so how many factors does 93 have? Four, four. four factors. And if it has four factors, does that make it prime? Yeah. Or does that make it composite? Composite. composite? composite. What about this first one? It says one is neither prime or composite. It's true. It's true? Why is that true? Who can explain to me why that is a truth? That one is neither prime or composite? Shelby. Because if you draw your two-chart, you get one, one times one. 
So it, if you draw your t-chart, like Shelby just said, so if I put the number one right here, and it's one times one, she said that I'm using the same factor, so it only has itself, right? What about two? Two is a prime number. I'm confused about this one because I thought all even numbers were composite. I thought all even numbers were composite. So why are you guys now telling me that this even number is actually a prime number? Dakari. So you would have one times two. So how many factors does two have? Does it have exactly two? It has exactly two factors. What about other even numbers? What do you know about other even numbers? What do you know about other even numbers, Kevin? They're all divisible by two. They are all divisible by two, so that makes them what? Composite, Composite because they also have one in itself, right? Yeah. Okay, um, let's go ahead and start our lesson. Yesterday, we talked briefly about the metric system. Go ahead and turn and talk to your neighbor about what we talked about the metric system yesterday. Can we talk? Can you talk to him? Do y'all remember what we talked about? Which one? Okay, kilometers are the biggest. When do do we use kilometers much in the United States? No, we use what? You usually have to run it when you go to high school. Miles. So can you share? He shared one with you. Can you share with him? Okay. So then why don't you share with Omar and Landon and see what they remember? Do you, what do you remember from yesterday? Kilometers or kilometers. Okay, did you tell me what you learned? All right, back to me in three, two, and one. Who would like to read our learning target for math today? Who could read my learning target for math today? Jadalyn, can you read that for me? I can determine equivalent metric measurements for length. All right, repeat after me. I can determine, I can determine equivalent metric measurements, equivalent metric measurements. for length. Okay, so yesterday when we talked about length, and remember we said we'll get to mass and volume a little bit later on in this unit, but when we talked about length, it's the distance between two points. We talked about millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. Who can tell me something that they remembered about the sizes of those different units? Maya. Kilometers is the biggest out of those four. Who remembers something different? Andrew. Can you say that a little bit louder? Caleb, did you hear him? Millimeters are the smallest out of those four. Remember, we said millimeters is about the thickness of a quarter. So can you share and show me that with your finger? When we think about benchmarks, it's about the thickness of a quarter. A quarter is that thick? That's a big quarter in your pocket. Maya, can you show him what the thickness of a quarter would be? Okay, and then we said centimeters was a little bit bigger. It's about the width of your finger. So hold your finger up. It's about the width of your finger. Meters is about the width of the door. So it's how wide the door is. We also have our meter stick over here. So it's about this size. And then we have kilometers, which is the distance while driving. So if you're driving like to New York, for example, or you're driving maybe to your house, we could measure that in kilometers. It is similar to mileage, which is what we use in the United States. If I was driving to Virginia, which of those measurements would I use? Oh, Virginia? Virginia Beach. <laughs> which one of those would I use? Kilometers. Kilometers. Let's say I wanted to measure the distance between my class and Miss Messer's class. Um, meters. meters. Okay, what if I want to measure one little grain of sand? Millimeters. Millimeters. All right, now we're going to break out into groups. I'm going to work with some students at the back tables. The rest of you are going to do your Schoology activity. What subject would we be on in Schoology? Math. Math. So can I have my um, Promethean board unfrozen, please? All right, so in Schoology, oh, I'm already on math. So you're going to go to your courses and you're going to click what? Math. Math. This is a brand new folder because we're starting a brand new unit, and you're going to go all the way to the bottom of the screen folder, and who can read to me what that folder is called? Devon. Metrics, 
metric conversions. You're gonna click on the metric conversions. Thank you, Devon, and thank you for the help, Reggie. You're gonna click on metric conversions. Within the metric conversions folder, there's a video on here. It is a YouTube video. Who can tell me what should I do when I'm on YouTube? What's one thing I need to remember to do? Caleb. Skip the ads. Skip the ads. What's something else I need to do? Make the screen bigger so that it's taking up your entire screen. Is there anything else? Andrew. Don't watch inappropriate Do not watch anything inappropriate. And we've been using our Chromebooks for a while, so we shouldn't have that issue, right? Yeah. You're going to watch the video, then you're going to log into our discussion board. You might want to watch the video two or three times. Just It's kind of like a catchy song, and it'll help you remember millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. And then you're going to watch the metrics video link above, which is what it says. You've already watched it. Comment one thing you learned from the video, either about millimeters, centimeters, meters, or kilometers. Should we treat this like it is Instagram or Facebook? No. Should you go through and like everybody's post? No. Do you need to go through and comment on everybody's post? No. Is it okay to comment on maybe one post, whether you agree or disagree? Yes. yes or to add something to it? Yes. Do you have a question? No, about the video. Yes. Thank you. You do need headphones. If you cannot find headphones, which there are pairs back there, some of them may not work, they're kind of old, find a quiet spot in the corner where you won't be a distraction to other people learning, okay? okay. All right, this is what you're doing if you're not with me. When you are done, you're going to go back under courses. What subject? Math. Math. And you are going to scroll down to the SOL review. <coughs> in here... You are going to work on multiplying decimals. These decimals and the multiplying of them are naked numbers, that, which means they are not in word problems. So should we use a calculator? No. No. Should we show our work? Yeah. Yeah, so you can use paper from the um, recycle bin. Questions about this? No. Okay, this is what I need. I need at my back table, Maya, Q, Ryan, Landon, Brooklyn, and Ayana. You need your math notebook and a pencil. So you do not need your Chromebook if you're with me. You can either sit at the kidney table or the round table over there. On the rug over here, I need Kevin, Dakari, Jadalyn, and Shelby. If I did not call your name, you are logging onto your computer and doing the activities I just showed you. Ryan, can you help her out? Ryan, can you guys can work together, or you can work separate. So how many do we have so far? Count those for me. What's going to happen if y'all both keep going? And they're going to intersect. Should we scoot them over some more? How many do you have so far, Kia? Nine. How many more do you need? Okay. Make them pretty close. What is this thing called that we talked about? A meter stick. A meter stick. I want you to... We're going to start at the end of our book. Where's your notes? Brooklyn, can you count those for me and make sure they're in a straight line? And we're going to start measuring them in length. So can you both measure yours? Make sure you're on the centimeter side and see how many meters that line is. Line is? Yes. I just... Well, yours is hanging off, so I'm going to scoot it up here to make it solid. So what is it close to? Okay, so we got to scoot it down some. So what's this close to? What does this, this one represent? One whole. What did you hear us? What is this one? Did you hear what Ayana said? What this one represents? One whole. So one whole what? You're right. Exactly right. One whole meter. Okay, so now I want you to do. I want y'all to look together and find the centimeters on this rod. Omar, I, I love that he doesn't have headphones, but I still cannot hear his video super loud. Okay, did y'all find them? In centimeters. 100 centimeters. Good job. Go ahead and write that under centimeters. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our lesson. Go Rock!